I'm going to show you a very quick overview of some of the features in our new phone system through Ring Central. So the first thing you'll need to do is on your computer is go to app.ringcentral.com. It'll bring you to this website. Go ahead and click the sign in button. And don't make the same mistake that I made. Don't just try to sign in with Google like we normally do or put your email address in. What we have to do is go down to the single sign on button, the bottom one right down here. So make sure you click on single sign on, put in your school email address, save yourself the hassle of ever having to do it again and make this box checked. So make sure that's checked. Hit the submit button. and you'll be in. So this is kind of where you'll be graded. You might have a different screen. I've already been in a few times and I've kind of set some things up. I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. But this is basically your interface. Now, the cool thing is you can also do everything I'm going to show you in the mobile app on your phone. So a couple of things to think about with this new system that we've got. You can now make phone calls from your computer or your mobile device to any parent or anyone and the phone number that will show up is the number of your school phone. So you could be at home, like I'm at home right now making this video and when I call you, this is the number right here that would show up when you get a phone call from me. So you can now text, call, do other things with parents without them having access to your home phone or your cell phone. This is a great feature. So keep that in mind. Phone calls now will always be registered as your school phone. So over here on the left hand side, this is where we'll start. Mine are ordered, I think a little different than yours, but you'll have one icon for your phone. And that'll be where my home screen is, where you have a dial pad, you can see recent calls, any of your voicemail messages, um, and other activities, other things you'll be able to do. So you can see I've called a couple of numbers here, um, just trying it out. It's really easy to use. So the dial pad's probably what you'll use most of the time. You can put a person's name in if they're in your contacts, or just go ahead and dial, and you'll talk to them right through the computer. Very easy to do. Another option is text messaging. Now, this is not fully set up yet. It will be. The tech department is working on it. But what's going to be great about this is those parents that don't answer phone calls, you can text them. And what they get is a phone number that will, once again, be your desk phone number. So you can send messages, texting back and forth. The feature underneath that on mine says message. This is very similar to Google Chat. Um, so it's like texting within your account. So people here at work at Gull Lake, you can text message them and it's on a different thing. It's not necessarily a text, but you can add files and tasks. It's very similar to Google Chat. You can also do video calls. So that's an option here. Um, very easy to do. Um, similar to Zoom or Google Meet or something like that. The thing you'll have to set up is the contacts because what you'll see here is I've already granted access to my Google account, and the way it's set up is it pulls every single Gmail account in our district. That includes students as well. But the easy thing is if you have your own contact list in personal, the contacts that you have put into your Google account will be listed there. So these are just the people that I have put in my Google contact list. Workspace, I don't know how much people will use this, but there's a lot of options with calendars and tasks and things like that. Um, bring back flashback to the 90s. Here's your faxes. So you can send and receive faxes this way as well. And then the more button basically just lets you customize them some things. And that's what I did is I clicked the more button and I went over here. And let's say you really use the text feature the most. You don't make calls as much. You can just drag that and reorder it. And over here on the right, on the, I'm sorry, on the left hand side, now the text messaging's at the top. I would put my phone calls up there, so I'm just gonna redrag them. As soon as I let go, they're reordered here. So that's really easy to do. Um, you can access all of that also through this settings icon down here at the bottom. So if I were to click the settings icon, I get all of these options of what I can do for settings. So you can kind of go through these if you wanna look at them and see what options you have and turn things on and off, because that will affect what you can do online. 
I did, this is just me, I went to notifications and I made sure that my browser notifications were off because I don't want, if I had this tab open, for phone calls to pop up or messages to pop up because I do a lot of screen recording or presenting. Your screen would also be on your projector most of the time and you may want to turn that off and just make sure your browser notifications. It's still going to ring to your phone that's right on your desk so you don't need it coming here. And to be honest, you probably won't have this tab open very often only when you're at home trying to make a phone call or something. So I mean, you've got all kinds of options what the audio and the microphones are. This is where you'll want to go though, is the calendars and contacts right down here. When I click on that, you'll have some options of which calendars and contacts you want in. I would definitely go to this Google tab, this part right here, and manage or connect yours. So just make sure that your um, calendars maybe are in because that will block some calls out if you want and also bring in your personal contacts, the actual Google contacts that you have put in, like all your parents' emails and things like that. So I would definitely make sure that you manage that. Turn that on to your school account. Once that's all done, it's as easy as just clicking on something and making a call. So if I were to call my desk, let's see, 269-548-3761, and I'm going to go ahead and dial it. I'm going to allow access. This is Jeremy. Sorry, Mr. Call. <laughs> Leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks. It obviously cannot get a hold of me because it can't, you can't call yourself. But anyhow, that's how easy it is. You could send a text message once that that is up and active. So once again, that text message icon, right now it says it hasn't been turned on. They're in the process of doing that. Now you can send and receive text from parents. So it's really easy to use. Feel free to go on into the settings. Um, if you're a dark theme person, I know that that's a big thing. I like dark themes. You can change right over here underneath the settings, go to themes, and you can change some of the colors of this in general. So maybe you like purple, or go up to light mode here, turn it to dark, and now you've got dark mode. You can also have high contrast if you like. So you've got some themes to choose from if you want. Um, whatever you want to do, you can set some things up. Keep in mind, whatever you do, you can, on the screen right that you can see right here, you can also do on the app through your mobile phone. So feel free to explore. Um, hope that helps and reach out if you need some help.